Hello guys and welcome back to lesson number five. I finally was able to fix my microphone so I hope you guys can hear me better now. And today in today's lesson, like I promised, we're gonna talk about uh, connecting a gripper to our robot right here. And today we need to imagine a lot because we cannot show you how we attach that but you can do that once you have the physical gripper and the physical robot but to, for today purpose we're going to imagine that the first thing i want to talk today before we start talking about the set and weight command um, i want to talk a little bit about center of gravity and payload and why they're important so if you guys imagine we have a gripper for example right here the center of gravity will be a point somewhere in the middle in the gripper where the the weight of the gripper is distributed evenly of each side so basically payload is going to be the weight of this gripper and why these two are important very simple they're important so our robot know how much force to apply to it and also some tip and also to keep in mind once we pick up a workpiece we need to keep in mind the workpiece have some weight to it so we need to add the weight once we grab the piece and i'll show you how to do that so let's get started how you set the payload and the center of gravity so if you guys have your simulator open we can go to the installation tab and go to the tcp and we can see the payload and center of gravity menu it's right here on the bottom so to do that we can use the wizard and once we go into the wizard we have a steps one to six we can take and to do that we have to set four different position like you can see here we're not going to do that here but you just follow the menus you set it up you set these four points and you click finish once finished our software will automatically calculate everything for us isn't that nice so for today purposes what we're gonna do we're just gonna say for example two kilograms it's our tool what if you guys work in pounds very simple what you can do is just measure uh, the weight in pounds and just divide that by 2.2 approximately and you will find out how much kilograms the weight is and then you can add it right here so now, once we do that, and we have attached our gripper, we can talk about the digital inputs and the digital outputs. Digital inputs, it's for example, sensor or a button. And that's when we have a device which talks to us. What I mean talks to us? Well, I mean, for example, if there is a conveyor right here, and there is a sensor, once the piece comes front of the sensor, the sensor will send a signal saying there is the piece is there. This is input, that's devices talking to us. Output is actually devices we send signal to. For example, the gripper, like you guys can assume already, is going to be the output. We're going to send the command open and close. The digital input and outputs can be on or off, low signal or high signal one or zero so our gripper i already connected it to digital output number one so if you go into the installation into the io setup right here once you connect the gripper you have to keep in mind where you connected it and then come to the software and just write gripper either you use digital out zero one two etc for these purposes we're going to use one once you name it you can come to io and see it right here and also what else i want to do for today's example i want to have an input as well and what this will be is going to be a sensor one So the sensor one, like we can come back and see it right here, it's gonna be into inputs. The sensor one will be the input saying the piece is there. Let's say we have a conveyor and we wait for the piece. 
the sensor one will be the sensor telling us once it gets high the piece is there so we know and if you guys was with me the last time we already have the program if you guys don't please go back and watch the previous lesson number four and how we create simple pick and place program for us who we already have the program we have to go in open program the place we saved it and then i called it pick and place and then open it was open the program will be ready right here we can see the blend radius if you guys remember from the last time and basically our first point will be right here waypoint 2 and then we're gonna go all the way around 180 degree in this case and we're gonna drop the piece right here in waypoint 5 and that's waypoint 4 so now what we're gonna do once we come to the waypoint 2 let's see if we can add some shadows that's nice so once we come to the waypoint 2 right here we want to wait so we're going to insert the wait command what is the wait command the wait command is when we wait for a certain event or can be a time like you can see in the wait command tab we can wait a certain time or we can wait for a digital input or we can wait for analog input so what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to wait for sensor one so we're going to wait the sensor one to become high. This means our piece arrived. Now we can go down and grab it. So what we did so far, we came to waypoint two and now we are waiting. Once the piece is there, next thing we know, we're going to come down. So once we are down here, we're going to insert our first set command. What is the set command? The set command is, for example, we can set digital output or analog output. But in our case, we're going to set our gripper. It's been low, which means off or which means open. We're going to say high. We want to grab the piece at this point. So once we grab the piece we want to make sure we grab the piece the way to do that is very simple we can wait we can insert another weight and this time we're going to wait let's say half a second which is 0.5 so what we did here we wait the sensor it's on this means the piece arrived we came down we set the gripper on to grab the piece we wait a little bit to make sure the piece is in and now we are on the way now we're gonna come here we're gonna be at waypoint 4 we're going we're gonna go down and once we are down what we want to do yes you guys are right we need to open the gripper now so remember it's gonna be a set command we're gonna pick our gripper and we're gonna choose low which means open once we do that we're going to insert another wait command just to make sure we are open we give the gripper a little time let's set this to 0.5 and let's like i said we're not going to be able to see it because we don't have the gripper but you guys can watch the program and we'll see how it's running hmm very interesting what happened now why we are not moving do you guys know why well maybe some of us catch that now we are waiting for the sensor but since we are using the simulator the sensor it's not on well how we can fix that very simple what we're gonna do is we're gonna manipulate the sensor and tell the sensor the piece is there so the way to do that is into the digital input we're gonna say 
sensor is high. The way to do that actually you need to be in the simulation mode. If you're not in simulation mode you're not gonna be able to to change the inputs. So once the sensor is on now our robot thinks the piece is there. So let's play it again. We're gonna go down. Now we're gonna close the gripper, wait, go back, place it down, open the gripper, wait 0.5 seconds, and we'll go back. Something I forgot to mention was how to change the world once we pick up the piece. So it's logically once we pick up a piece, the piece will add some weight to it. So how are we gonna do that? Well, first we have to check where is gonna be this piece. Where are we gonna add that? Well, we're gonna that, add that after we set up the gripper on and we pick up the piece. So this will be right here. So once we grab it, if you guys remember, two kilograms is our two. And let's say for our purposes, our workpiece will be 800 grams. That's 0.8 of a kilogram. So the new weight will be 2.8. Then we're gonna add that right here. And then, once we do that, we're gonna come down here once we leave the piece out. And then we're gonna say we're back to, oh, two kilograms. There you go. And here we're not gonna be able to see the difference, but you will see the difference when you do it in the real world. Well, thanks again, guys. Tomorrow I'll be back with another video. I'm not sure what we're gonna work on. I think we're gonna work on a, creating a box. I have an overview video if you guys wanna see it. But tomorrow I'm gonna show you step by step how you can create this program. And also, bonus will be a box above the box so you can see we're gonna have some fun we're gonna do some blend radius again and i hope you guys enjoy the videos if you have any questions or tips please let me know see you tomorrow